welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are baking. We're not doing a bake off though. Today I'm gonna have my 15 year old self teach my 23rd, 23rd, 23 year old self how to make easy breakfast ideas. So um, I've done a few of these videos on my channel before, so make sure to check them out. But today we're gonna try it with food. So when I first began my channel many years ago, I would create tutorials on different things like hair, nails, crafts, and also baking. And I was not good at any of those things. Most of these ideas were my mom and her helping me out. Um, but I thought, hey, I, I wanna give my younger self a chance again and see if these breakfast ideas are actually good or not. We're gonna hop on my video. My video is called Back to School Breakfast Ideas. And this was posted August 8th of 2015. This is definitely a throwback. All right, chocolate chip granola bars. This next idea is chocolate chip granola bars. And this is one of my personal favorites because it's so easy and it's delicious at the same time. So this also takes a little bit of preparation before. So all we have to do in the morning is take out a plastic bag and it's all ready for you to eat. This looks really yummy so far. And pretty, I mean, well, not, I was gonna say healthy, but now here comes the chocolate chips, so maybe never mind. <laughs> okay, um, that is interesting to see how I used to film compared to now because while I was doing this tutorial, I didn't even tell you guys like what ingredients you needed, how much of each ingredient you needed, what to do, like how to make it. I just gave you the idea and then showed you making me the idea. So that was very inter interesting. So this is gonna be kind of hard to recreate, but luckily back then I was thinking, and I did link in the description box the recipe for this breakfast idea. So we're gonna be going off of that instead of my video because I cannot follow along with that one. So let me get all the ingredients prepped and I'll be back. All right, the first step to this recipe is actually going to be starting over here at the oven. So. On your stove top, you're gonna to wanna to heat up a small saucepan. We're gonna need three ingredients for this one. We're gonna need a fourth cup of butter. And your saucepan is gonna to be to medium high heat. So I'm gonna put the fourth cup of butter in here. And we're also, oh, that's gone. Oh, oh. <laughs> so while that is heating up, we're also going to add in a third a cup of brown sugar and a fourth a cup of honey. So then I'll turn it down to medium heat and we'll just let it simmer until all the brown sugar has dissolved. Okay, while that is simmering for two minutes, we're gonna measure out our oats and rice krispies in a bowl. So we're gonna need two cups of oats and these are quick cooking oats, not rolled oats. I didn't really know what the difference was, but it says on the box that this is quick oats, so just pay attention to that. If you decide to follow along. Oh! I just poured it without measuring. And then we're going to need a cup of Rice Krispies. Okay, now that I brought it over, we're gonna stir in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract into our hot syrup mixture. So I'm gonna mix that around. And then we're gonna combine this mixture with this mixture. Oh, I'm so excited for this recipe. So I remember eating these so much growing up, but it's been so long. I completely forgot about this breakfast idea until I watched my old tutorial again. And I remember how good they were and how much I miss them now. So I'm excited to be making these again and seeing if they were just as good as I remember them being. Plus, this is not that hard to make and it's such a quick like on the go breakfast too if you don't have a lot of time in the morning. And now I'm going to press it on to this pan. Now this is the part that like you see in my video. I don't explain how to do it, but I'm just gonna go off from what I was doing in that video and the same kind of technique because I don't really have any other kind of technique. So let's just try our best. It looks like I only used half the pan to do this. Um, you want like pretty thick granola bar pieces. Oh yeah, this is sticky. All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle some mini chocolate M&M. &M, not M&M, &M, what am I saying? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle some mini semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips on top of it. <gasps> that was a lot. 
so I just kind of poured it out. This is definitely the best part of the granola bar in my opinion. All right, and there we go. Literally all done. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit um, while we go and work on the next recipe. Then I'll cut them up, we'll put them in the fridge, and um, I'll try one on camera and we'll see if they're really that good. There you go, recipe number one is complete. Now I made big man. Okay, let's move on to the second breakfast idea and see what I have brewing up. All right, this is cinnamon rolls. What a classic, I'm so excited. And I'm ready to go for this. Same brand, wow. All of that. So first we're gonna use the overnight method and then you're gonna do the quick method off of that. Oh, wait, do I need that kind of, do I have this baking sheet? I just brought out cookie sheets, so we're gonna have to see. I'm pretty sure this will be fine though. I hope. Since when did I have three of these uh, glass things? Ow, my hair. Okay, well, um, I'm pretty sure you can use a baking sheet because on the back it says either a baking pan or a baking sheet. Um, I'm just gonna follow what I did in the video though. We'll go with this. So the recipe for this is literally on the back of the bag. So I'm just gonna be following this. So there are two different ways you can make this. And in the video, I first start off with the refrigerator overnight method. And then I moved on to like the quick regular method, which even the regular method is not quick. I did not prep this video like super in advance though, so we're just gonna skip the refrigerator overnight method and move on to the regular method, which takes three to five hours. And the overnight takes eight to 16 hours. So I, I don't wanna wait that long. We're just gonna follow the first one. So we're taking our um, glass pan, baking pan. We're spraying it with Pam, oh my gosh. I cannot talk today. Pan and Pam. Oh, I just literally ripped the instructions in half. Okay, my cinnamon rolls aren't like beautifully placed in here, but they all fit into one, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. So this method, um, like I said, takes a while. So we're gonna get some plastic wrap to put over it because the cinnamon rolls need to rise for a couple of hours, depending on the temperature inside of your house, which right now when I'm filming this, it's winter time. So I'm assuming it's gonna take on the latter end. It takes about, let's see, three to five hours to rise before you bake it in the oven. And it's gonna be at least five for me. So this is gonna be an all day process. Okay, so in three to five hours, we'll check back up on these babies. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next idea. So we have a smoothie classic, I mean, of course. I love the mug. You can never have too much happy. <laughs> so next idea is to make your own smoothie, and I really like smoothies because they're refreshing and they fill you up. All right, so I'm taking um, a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream into my smoothie, which is a classic in my family. I think a lot of people don't put ice cream in their smoothies. I don't know. Then I poured some milk in. I had some frozen blueberries in, and then. Uh, had a hard time closing the blueberries. This one should be really fast. So I have all the ingredients out already, except, okay, one minute. I have some milk as well. And technically the milk hasn't gone bad yet. It doesn't go bad for another two days, but I just opened it and smelled it and it smells sour. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come down, smell for himself and taste it because milk to me just always smells and tastes disgusting. I don't like milk on its own. So we're gonna wait for this and move on um, with the other ingredients first. Um, and if our milk is bad, which will be so sad if it is, we'll just use more ice cream because it's basically the same thing, just thicker. Where is our ice cream scooper? Is this an ice cream scooper? I just found this device and I don't know if this thing is an ice cream scooper or not. Maybe it's a cookie dough scooper. I'm gonna test it. <laughs> so let's start off with the ice cream. Oh, it, this thing is rock solid. <gasps> Did I just break this? Oh, I think I might have just broke this. Now let's add in some strawberries. 
My blender is not that big. I just have this much to work with. Are you guys good? Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's bad. <laughs> like all milk smells bad, but it doesn't smell that bad. So I'm just gonna try the route and milk. It's it not smells awful, but it's not bad. It's not sour. I'm so sus of it. I don't want to. Usually, try it. I think what happens when it starts smelling that bad is because sometimes, like the fat from the milk can make these like, I don't know if you can these see this, lines. but like it makes buildup on the outside of the jug and I think the buildup goes rancid. Okay, I'm gonna try it without milk, see if it'll blend and if I absolutely need to, I'm gonna add in the milk. It's not sour. Let's hope that this blends. <laughs> it's all like thick, chunky stuff. Don't break my blender, don't break my blender. I think I broke our scooper. I don't know if it was an ice cream scoop or what, but it's in the wash, the <laughs> scooper. Oh, this? Yeah. Broken? Oh. I, I, don't, I, I swear we had That's like an I'm actual saying. ice cream scoop, but I don't, I don't know, know where, where it is. It is. Oh. How did that happen? We're blind. So let's see if this blends. Oh, we're gonna need milk, and I don't want it. Oh, I'm so scared of the smoothie now. I think I'm breaking our blender. I think I'm breaking our blender. All right. Here's my purple smoothie. Does it smell weird to you? No. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, I'll try some and you try some. <laughs> Your camera's too short. Mm. That was pretty good right there. That's pretty good. I think I'd add sugar in that Ooh. one. Really? I think it's plenty sweet for a smoothie. Well, it's because the only thing I added was strawberries and blueberries and ice cream and milk. But I like mine even more sweet. Really? <laughs> I say this smoothie, thumbs up. Pretty good. Just make sure your milk is not spoiled. All right, we're moving on to the last breakfast idea. Here we go. We have granola yogurt. Also classic. Can't go wrong with this one. And super easy. Our last idea is granola yogurt, and this is super healthy and super good. Super healthy and super good. I also just love the YouTube audio library music back in those days. Like, if you've been on YouTube for that long, you know, like, those were the classics. Anyways, yeah, this one was by far the fastest. Um, I have a problem, I guess, because my yogurt is one day expired. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me and my dairy product? It looks okay. I'm just gonna have a little bit. I also grabbed a tiny bowl because since I am eating so much in this video, I don't want a whole lot. So I'm just gonna grab some yogurt. Then I put some oats on top. So this is Dunford's Oats and Honey. And these are rolled oats, not quickened oats. So we use both types of oats. Maybe there's probably more oats than just these two types. But like, yeah, this is a different kind of oats than we use for our granola bars. And then we're gonna add in some of our frozen blueberries. Uh, fresh would definitely be better, but in this case, I don't have that. So we have these blueberries from our smoothie and we're just gonna be reusing them. I think we're good. Very crunchy and creamy. Again, not the biggest fan of this one because I'm not that big of like a granola and, or I'm not a big fan of like an oats and yogurt kind of uh, meal or breakfast, but it's still really good and it's a great idea. Once again, if you are in a pinch for the mornings. So this one I'll give a side, but for those of you who like it, definitely like a thumbs up, like this is a good idea. Okay, we're going back to our classic granola bars that we started with at the beginning of the video because they definitely had time to set um, now. So we're gonna be taking anything that you can cut with. I was honestly looking for like a pizza cutter, but whatever this thingy will work. You just wanna make like strips so it looks like a granola bar. So I think I'm gonna do two rows and then one horizontal line. Oh yeah, this is hard. I made my bars pretty big 
You can make them even smaller though, however you want to portion it. Maybe I'll cut it once more. Um, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, this is what I've been looking forward to this whole video. That right there! Oh, this is so yummy. This is so good. Oh my gosh, probably my biggest recommendation of this video. So, the video's not over yet though because we still have these lovely cinnamon rolls in the background, um, still rising. So I will come back to you at the end of the day when they have risen, we'll pop them in the oven and then taste test some cinnamon rolls. Oh man, it's been many hours later. As you can tell, I went to Taekwondo and it's been more than like five hours. This has been sitting and rising for like the majority of the day, but it actually has made a little bit of a difference. Um, before I went to Taekwondo, it didn't look like it changed much at all, but after I came back, they're definitely a lot bigger. Not huge, but I think they're a good size. So I'm gonna take off this plastic wrap. I just preheated my oven to 350, and now I'm gonna stick it in there for 15 to 20 minutes, so like probably about 17 minutes, and I'll check on it. And then our cinnamon rolls are done. Oh my goodness, this smells delicious. Um, so the cinnamon rolls are done. I let them cool off a tiny bit. They're still very warm, but I'm just gonna grab one out and I am so excited to eat this. They are so soft. Okay, well I kind of like demolished my cinnamon roll, but it's okay. It's not about the presentation. It's about the yumminess that matters. So it did come with some frosting or icing packets or whatever, the cream cheese frosting. So I'm just gonna open this and use it. Okay, ah, here it looks. Okay, let's try a bite. This is what I'm eating for breakfast tomorrow. This is so good. All right, well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this treat, but that was me reacting to my very old uh, YouTube tutorial on easy breakfast ideas. I hope this helped you guys out as well. I think I had some really great ideas in that video. Um, so I'll, I'll give props to my younger self. Good job, 15-year-old Audrey. <laughs> Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you recreate any of these breakfast ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what other videos from my past self you would like me to react to and recreate. But subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!